and here, in the natural habitat of the Swede, we see the attempt to collect every berry in the forest. <laughs> what you got? Big strawberries. Big strawberries? Yeah. I think it might be a blueberry. Blueberry. Good haul. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, we've been out for like half an hour. Yeah. We've got like the whole box full basically yeah. <laughs> with blueberries and raspberries. Crazy, there's so many here. Yeah. When I get started, I'm like, I can't stop until I've like collected it all. <laughs> I know 100% how you are with berries. <laughs> <laughs> I see it in your eyes. You go feral as soon as you see like a good raspberry you're the, place. You're the same though. <laughs> gotta get them, gotta fill boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you're exactly the same though. I got a couple of videos from like when I was pregnant with Bella. Yeah when you were like falling over like trees just to get to some yeah. raspberries. You're like, it's one, there's one raspberry over there. It's a big there. one, yeah. I need to get it. It's one of them things when you start getting into it, yeah, you, it's easy to get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice though, like, I mean, look at them. They're yeah, they're it. absolutely loving it. They're nice guys. Really good, Bella, yeah. Okay, get on. Really nice place, this, isn't it? It's lovely. Like, beautiful, actually. Yeah. It feels so nice, like, to be in a place where it's basically just, like, nature. Yeah. Like, I know we're not far away from a little town, but it really, really feels like when you breathe, you can only smell the forest and yeah. the water, and it's... when. When the kids are quiet, you can only hear the sound of the nature. And it feels so nice after traveling in big cities all the time. Yeah, yeah it feels um, really nice, actually. Yeah. What a trip, eh, mate? It's been crazy, hasn't it? Can you believe that we're going to be back at our house today? Crazy. We've not been back to our house in a month, in over a month. Hmm? You're going to get to have a bath today. That's crazy, isn't it? That's fun. Yeah, a bit odd to be uh, to be heading back to a house, an actual house made of bricks and things. But something tells me it's only going to be for a day or two. <laughs> We're not even planning on moving all the stuff from the van to the house. We're just going to do laundry. Help to sell stones. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> You can get number two. <laughs> Alright, Mama's turn. Not quite. <laughs> Who's that face about? Isabella. Isabella. This way. Look at my little tracks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on our way down to um, Ireland to spend the weekend there with my family actually both my brother and his uh, girlfriend and their baby they got a van and then my mum and dad got a van so we're all meeting up to just enjoy some sunshine they're gonna windsurf a bit we're gonna spend some time on the beach and just hopefully finally get some uh, summer weather that's what we're hoping for at least but I thought I would just update you a little bit on the cancer part of our lives. We've not updated you about that for quite a while now because we've been enjoying traveling and just not thinking about um, that part of our lives that we're still dealing with every day basically but we've been trying to just enjoy normal life for a bit. But now we're back in Sweden and I've already been back to one doctor's appointment and next week I got three. <laughs> So it's all starting again and 
coming home also feels a little bit like coming home to being sick and like real life, which is um, not that fun. I'm still struggling with being really, really tired. I got like a brain fog and feeling fatigue all the time and um, I'm struggling a bit with that. And the doctors think that, well, the surgeons think that I shouldn't anymore. Uh, the oncology team has said like they don't think it's that strange but they can't say for sure that it's from chemo. So they pushed up all my scans and everything. Uh, it was supposed, my six months checkup was supposed to be in October and I got the first scan next week which will be 25th of August. So everything is a bit earlier than planned but it's good because that means that they keep in an extra eye on me just to make sure that nothing else is wrong. So obviously I feel quite nervous about that and uh, the fact that they want to do it earlier could be two things. Like one thing that's really good that they are keeping an eye on me but the other part is um, are they worried that is going to be something that's come back or something else or whatever. Uh, so obviously mixed feelings about that and I feel quite nervous of course but it's just to wait and see because we can't do uh, much about it uh, right now so um, it's just to keep fingers crossed that everything is going to look all right and uh, that our plans for the autumn and winter won't be cancelled because of more cancer news but other than that it's been what three and a half months or something like that since surgery and like physically I'm feeling quite all right struggling a little bit with pain in my lower back sometimes which they've said could be scar tissues that's like it's pulling on the scar tissue other than that I feel quite all right actually it's the tiredness that limits me most and that I'm actually really struggling with so we just have to um just have to wait and see but now we're gonna keep driving down to Ireland and enjoy some more holiday time before we have to deal with next week Oh, the sun is out. What a stunning day it is today, eh? Uh, it feels like it's been a month since we've seen the sun. Uh, probably because it's been about a month since we've seen the sun. So yeah, it is absolutely stunning today. Uh, Sweden's absolutely coming through for us. We have traveled down to Erland, which is a little island on the very southeast coast of Sweden. Um, it's a place that we come pretty much every year, actually. One of our favorite summer destinations in Sweden. Uh, it's known as the island of the wind and sun. I believe. So it's quite a popular place for windsurfers, which is one of the main reasons why we're down here at the moment, actually. So we've come down with Molin's parents and Molin's brother and family. They're hoping to get a bit of surfing done and we're hoping to enjoy the nice weather. Maybe get the sup board out later and take uh, Charlie on that, I think, if he's up for it. We've been back in Sweden for a few days and um, we're hoping to squeeze as much as we can out of the rest of this summer. Marlin is going to be starting with her hospital appointments again soon. So obviously we want to, um, yeah, we want to enjoy, enjoy as much of the summer as we can before she starts going back to having to think about cancer and things like that. But more on that later. Anyway, uh, right now, like I said, the sun's shining. The rest of them are down at the beach already. So I am going to go and get the sup board out and uh, I'm going to go and join them. Found you. Yay. Hello. Hello. You all right? Finally some summer. I know, I've just said that. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Finally. What are you up to, mate? I want to go on the soup board. You want to go on the soup board, do you? Yeah. Cool, man. Me too. It takes a long time. It's take a long time, yeah. <laughs> 